Hi everyone, welcome to day 9th of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview questions. So let's see today's questions. The today question is to find department top 3 salaries from each department. This is a hard category questions you can see that. So uh, let's see this is the first table that we have for the employee. An employee table has a column ID name salary and department ID. So this department ID is the primary key in the depart department table. So this is a foreign key in the employee table. So let's see the questions. A company executives are interested in seeing who earn the most money in each company's department. The high earner in each department is the employee who has a salary in the top three unique salaries for that department. So basically a high earner would be a person who falls into top three unique salaries in each department. So write a solutions to find the employee who are high earners in each department return the results in any orders so this is the trade so basically we need to find the employee who falls into the top three unique salaries department so let's go ahead and solve this problem i have already created the tables so that i can you know practice and share it with you at the end of this video so that you can also practice so uh let's go ahead and see the table first this is the department table we have two department and let's see the employee tables so this is the employee table which has employee ID, employee name, salary and the department ID. So let's start writing the query. We will be solving these questions by just joining these two table and using a window functions dense rank. So let's go ahead and start what we need. So we need to find. So first we need select the name of the department that we need so that we will be finding it from the department table. So that's going to be name so d dot name so this will return as a department name and then we will be finding and we will be name it as department name and the second thing that we need the employee name so that we will find from the employee table which is name again so we'll name it as e name as employee name I forgot Now next what we need is the salary so that we will find from the employee table and we'll name it as salary and then we will be using a dense rank to basically find the unique three salary from each category so we will be using dense dense rank over partitions by department and order by salary which is salary from employee table so salary descending orders and we will name it as drn so uh, basically what this rank will does it will create a new column in our table in this table and for each department it will basically keep a dense rank so for each tops earner salary which will get the first rank then the second top earner salary will get the second rank and then this is how it will continue and then we will basically filter the data by below n equals to three rank so basically we'll be getting top three earner from each department so we'll be using one more sub query after that so let's go ahead and from we want employee table s e and we will want to and we will join this table with department oops, department table so department table s d and we'll join on the conditions of e dot department id equals to d dot id so in the employee table we have a column name which is department id which is this one and this is a foreign id in this this is a foreign key and the primary key is in the department table so e dot department id is going to basically join both the table with this department id and this id because this both id are the same so we will join this both the table after joining the table we can see our query so let's go ahead and see the query oops there seems to be a mistake partition spy it's going to be instead of department we want d d dot name 
because the column name is name and the table name is d so we will be part doing partitions by the d dot name which is by the department name so let me just show you what we have done basically now so now you can see the department that is it in it this person which is gina she earns 83000 and she got the first rank because that is the highest salary in this department then the second highest salary is nathan who earns 81000 this is the second unique highest salary in the same department then this third which is 79000 and again we can see one more third which is kelly and that person also earns 79000 now because this two person earns the same salary so they both are getting same rank which is third so that is what dance rank does it doesn't skip numbers so let's see this is how the it department goes then we can see the other department that we have sales department so in sales department the highest salary is 85000 so that person got first rank then the second salary highest is 82000 that person got second rank and the third person which is 80000 that's got the third rank so basically now we need to find out this top three salary uh, you know persons their name and the department similarly top three salary from this table as well also and their name and department now from this table we will have two person because they two they both earning the top three category salaries which is this one and that's how we will be getting our result so we will be using a sub query to select so we'll be using a sub query to select the things that we need from this table so we will go ahead and select what we need is department department name then we will need this employee name next we need the salary and from we need this this query so this query we will put in a sub query so just let me just ship it a little ahead and i'll be putting it in the sub query so let me alias one whenever we were giving a taking a whenever using a sub query in the from so make sure to use a alias now we will be filtering it to tense rank trn by this column so less than equals to three so now we are filtering by this rank only asking the query to return only the employee and their department the salary if their salaries are in the top three in each department so let's go ahead and run the query oops i missed where so now it should work fine so now you can see from the it we have we have four person instead of three because two person having the same salary and they got third rank so that's how we have from the sales we have only three person because the three are unique salary because here the unique salaries are this one this one and this one and in the id department there are two common salaries so we have got these two persons names as well so that is how we can resolve this problem so that is how we can resolve this problem uh, so uh, i will also show you so that's how we can resolve this problem So that's how we can resolve this problem i will also show you i will also so that is how we can resolve this problem i will also show you what does normal rank means so if i just go ahead and give a normal rank here and we will give you everything same which is same as from this and we will call it as normal rank give it comma and we can just go ahead and see what does normal rank does so now you can see that the first person has the highest salary and got the normal rank one and dance rank one the second person also got the first the second highest salary got the second rank and third and fourth person got the third third rank because they have this have same salary but if you can see the fourth person which is peter so the peter has to get fourth rank but peter got fifth rank because here in the normal rank it skipped one number because it has given three rank to two person so it is skipping one number and it's giving five rank instead of fourth to this peters so now similarly if you see in dance rank peter is getting fourth rank so that is the difference between normal rank and dance rank so dance rank is basically giving going to give the rank from starting from one two three and uh, without skipping any numbers so in normal rank it will skip numbers if there is the same rank you know two or more than people's thank you so much for watching the video till the end i'm going to share a link to this query so that you can practice by your own thank you have a good day bye bye